Hello everyone. It's only been a couple weeks, so I kept my promise this time, and we're having a video uh, twice in the same month. Yay! Okay, I did it. So, uh, this episode is very specifically going to cover, as you can tell by the title, whether I decided, uh, ended up deciding to stay in Miyazaki or go back home. When I first came to Japan, my whole plan was to go home after one year. But given my beautiful placement and the amount of fun I've had here and the amount I feel like I've been able to experience just in uh, this first half a year, I started second guessing my initial uh, decision. And I started thinking, well, maybe I should stick around for another year. Maybe I'll pick up Japanese a little bit more and maybe I'll get to explore Japan a little bit more, certainly see more of Asia. Um, but, uh, I, it's, I started doubting my decision and I started really thinking about, um, whether or not, uh, it was the right move to stick around or whether it was better I go home or if I had it all backwards. I really had to have a long, long discussion with myself to ascertain what I was going to do. Um, so in order to really figure it out, I decided to take a bike ride around the town and uh, kind of just appreciate the setting, get outside a little bit. And while I was out there, I took a, I, I went ahead and uh, took my uh, helmet here. I'll show you my bike helmet. And I uh, did the, the closest thing to engineering I've ever done. I taped a, uh, not a GoPro, but a selfie stick onto my bike helmet and put my cell phone in, made myself a handmade cheap GoPro. I would estimate the cost of this uh, to be around hmm, maybe $5. So not bad. Not bad. If you guys are thinking about doing a GoPro and you don't mind looking a little ridiculous, you got some paint. Then it could really look good. You actually make it look kind of legitimate. Uh, but I'm not going to put that much effort in. So I went around town and uh, took a video of what I saw. And I'll show you that guys that now so you can get a sense of what Miyazaki looks like and my setting. Okay. I think this thing is turned on. So I just left school. And... I'm gonna go right around a little bit and uh, see what we can see. <clears throat> so, this is Miyazaki. All right, it's a little windy today, but. Otherwise, it's a nice day. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much just a good day for it. I'm gonna ride around town. I'm going to the office that I work at. Sorry for the sudden head jerks. I have to uh, make sure I'm not about to get run over. Oh, it's a blustery day. I hope you guys can hear me over the sound of the wind. I may I try to speak up so that you can actually hear what I'm saying because I know I certainly can. Right up ahead, that building with the orange ball is a casino, a chinko parlor. That's Dyrex. It's like a Walmart. They sell clothes, food, electronic supplies. Uh, little knickknacks, school supplies, everything.
All right. Here we go. We made it. So there's the Oyoto River. It connects to the sea and you can actually almost see I guess it connects to the ocean actually. You can almost see the ocean from here. If we were just a little bit further uh, a little bit further east, you'd be able to see it. Over there, more of the river. They did a fantastic fireworks show. Uh, right over, not right over here, but a little bit further down in the beginning of the summer, or end of the summer rather. And uh, yeah, it was really nice. They say that back in uh, a few decades ago, there was a problem with disposing of cars. And basically it was so difficult to dispose of your old car that people would just come here and dump their old vehicles in the river and take off the license plates. And that became an issue and so the law was changed to make it easier to, uh, well, to make it so that people didn't have to dump their cars in the river, to say the least. That very same day, I ended up seeing four teenagers take one of their bikes and toss it over the bridge into the river. So, still being used for disposing purposes. I might catch a few people still staring at me. And part of the reason is because my cell phone is on my head. And <laughs> it looks funny. And the other reason is because I am an adult wearing a bicycle helmet. And only children wear bicycle helmets. And uh, I don't know about Japan. But I would say Japan, but I guess I don't know. I only know Miyazaki. You know, you see that guy, he's just wearing a hat. Only children are required by law to wear hats, or helmets rather. So, I have a double whammy in terms of my phone's on my head, I'm wearing a helmet and I'm an adult, and to really top it off, I'm white. And there's only like, I don't know, 30 to 40 white people in Miyazaki City. So, they certainly stick out. So, you guys will actually get to see some, uh, a little bit of the city on my way to the center. center is where I work, by the way, when I'm not at school. Okay. Eh, I'll cross here. Okay. See if I can do some tour guiding here while I have some time. So to my right, you'll see another bridge that leads back over uh, the Oyoto River. We actually saw this bridge from the bridge that we rode over. Um, not much to say about that otherwise. And down there is the actual city section, the downtown area as it were. And there's a lot more business over there. Fortunately, I'm going this way. So, maybe I'll be able to show you guys that later. Stay.
Koi. Well, at least one. Oh, there's turtles. Hope you guys can see that. He's close to the ledge. Oh, there are two. That orange. I don't know if you guys can. Hopefully you can see the orange under the water. Oh, and there's white too. Yeah, there's a few fish in here. they notice me <laughs> come back around hmm it's unfortunate but i think i've come to a decision it's unfortunate because it's one of those things that it seems intuitive to me to make this kind of call to Say it's just like say you know what I'm gonna stick stick it out I'm gonna stick around in Japan, and see how it goes. Cause it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be fun, and I'll have a lot of free time to do a lot of interesting stuff. But given my nature, I think if I'm being brutally honest with myself being put into an environment where I have to struggle and where where I have to I'm being pushed and peer pressured and socially pressured to do work and to get my shit together will do a lot more for me than staying here where life is easy and free. And maybe that is what we all work for. Maybe I'm sure one day I will look back on this all and be think to myself, damn, you know, you had it all. You had an easy ass job. You had tons of freedom. Uh, you could do whatever you wanted, you know? Maybe that is what I'll think one day. Because I can do almost, you know, do almost anything here. I really could. But... also kind of want to do something important. I want to kind of, you know, just kind of want to do something that I think is worthwhile. I'm 26 years old and I think I have to make an adult decision and try to get on with my life and try to start being whoever I'm going to be. So, I think my decision is to go. That's what I have to do, I think. The entirety of that video lasted around 30 minutes, and it was just me basically talking over the pros and cons of staying, and whether I felt it was the right decision to stay or leave. And uh, it was really tough. I was, I tried to be brutally honest with myself. I think I succeeded. And the decision I came to is that it's time for me to go home. And it's time for me to 
figure out a new life, a new uh, something that'll lead to a career further down the road. It was a tough decision. Uh, both, obviously, there's pros and cons to each. And now that I've signed the paperwork to say I am officially uh, going home, it was. I'm a little, I guess, heartbroken. Yeah, I'm a little heartbroken because I do have an awesome life here, and. I'm sure it would have been awesome to stick around. But I do think I'm making the right call. So there it is. I'm coming back. I'll be leaving sometime in August, I think. And it's been a wild ride. I'll keep posting these, uh, you know, because I want to keep documenting my journey and letting you guys know what's going on. There's still... Plenty more fun things to come. I'm going to a snow festival in uh, the beginning of February in three weeks. It's been a hell of a half a year. The other half will be just as good, but I'm coming back for you, America. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, take care. Bye.